Next, we take a look at a Russian athlete who's been impacted by the conflict. Cronkite News reporter Connor McGill spoke to a player on the women's basketball team at Benedictine University in Mesa whose family's in Moscow. It's been a difficult time for her as she has no idea when she can go back home. Kate Lavinka, a native of Moscow, Russia, picked up a basketball for the first time at the age of 12 and came to the United States at 16. Now she's currently a junior at Benedictine University in Mesa where she's playing the sport she loves. Challenged by distance, an ACL injury, and now conflict back at home, Glavinka has a lot on her mind. Not knowing what is happening next, not knowing when I'm going to see them, not knowing how they are there. It's just um, every day my thoughts are there. Like, it is hard to focus on other things, you know, because I'm here, my life is safe in a good place, everything is good. I'm in Arizona, it's sunny, it's, um, I'm having an interview right now and they are there and it's a completely different atmosphere for them there. Glovinka did have plans to go back home for spring break in Moscow, Russia to see her family, but all of that has come to a halt due to sanctions on airspace. For now, the closest thing she has to her family is FaceTime calls. It's not going to happen. I don't really know when it's going to happen, when it's the next time I'm going to see my family, which makes me absolutely heartbroken and sick. <laughs> so, but it's going to be fine. With the basketball season now over, Glokovina will look to recover from her ACL injury and await news from home. In Phoenix, Connor McGill, Cronkite News.